Yeah. Well, the way I look at it is, <laughs> if you are taller than me, you are too tall. <laughs> if you are fatter than me, you are too fat. If you are sli- slimmer than me, you are too slim. So. <laughs> My name is Olisa. My name is Ipe. Yeah, Banji. Press the bar. Nice to meet you again. Okay, first question. Have you ever struggled with body image? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, shoot. I don't think I should give all the details, but um, no, it was it was secondary school. I was a skinny kid, short kid, quiet kid. Basically, like the combination of all the things you don't want to be in secondary school. And I kind of like got out of that. I was like, yeah, no, I can't, I can't allow myself to feel that way again. So here we are now. I did a point. That was like my first year in university. I was kind. Alright, what about you? Yes, primary. Well, like when I was really young, not secondary school, because people were just horrible day. I was a little bit body shamed by a lot of my friends. So. Why do you yeah. think you were, why do you think you struggle with those things that you struggle with? Do you think um what do you think influences your influences your body in each other you have issues with it? In general, I think I think social media has like a lot to play with that. I don't know. I'm I'm not, I'm not what they all think. But I think social media um, and what we are exposed to, television wise as well, has a lot to play with that. Because I'll be entirely honest, as a guy, you you can't when you see a lot of these other you see like Vin Diesel or you see The Rock, you look at someone like these guys look like they're city <laughs> of men. They look like men. And I'm out here looking I'm out here looking like like a scrawny, easily breakable individual, like you kind of just go, yeah. Alright. What about you? What do you think influences body image? Social media, fashion industry, or family and friends? Sorry, the question again. What do you think influences body image? Social media, family and friends, or fashion industry? The fashion industry is it like the society. I feel like the society is like number one factor, so it has been intensified with social media. So I'll say yes. You don't think family and friends It's the society to start with. Uh, well, family and friends are the society too. So I think we can just box everything up on that society. society. Yeah. I I do want to add if that's okay, with you guys. It's family and friends are an influence as well. Though, to be entirely honest, I do remember at some point in time. I probably thought I wanted to get bigger just because I didn't want to get pushed around by other members of the family. <laughs> well, I knew that um, I fight him. I don't talk about it too much, but I, do, I know that I didn't exactly enjoy growing up like that. And there was this one time that I got slapped. <laughs> and I remember blacking out. And I, I, I told myself like, after that, I was like, yeah, no, this is not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. Next time I get slapped by, by anyone like that, I want to have enough bulk on me that if I were to block it, they would hurt, not me. But it is what it is. What is your ideal body type and why is it your ideal body type? What do you think is an ideal body type? Yeah. <coughs> For starters, not being short. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, a little bit taller. Objection. I don't like my. I, I'm sorry to say this, but like this was part. My height was part of my. Yeah. So like, we were like <laughs> so. Uh, I get reminded a lot of times that if you are too short, you're extremely short. You're this, you're that, and I'm like, okay, okay. But like I don't really like my height. So I start to like. Okay. What about you? Ooh, me? <laughs> oh, sorry. What's the question? What is your ideal body? Do you, do you, do you take body something body? before you came here? And why is it your ideal body? Is it like for me or like you know what that? You? For me, oh, ah, I don't know. I mean, when I was younger, I used to be, I used to be tiny. 
So like people used to overlook me, especially on the field. So I, like because I used to be small. So. But now, I mean, it is what it is. Perfect. Yeah. You know, you don't think you have to be careful what you say. I don't want to sound fat or like um, <laughs> like I'm, oh, I'm this is sleeping. So, but, but, but that's that's another thing about this though. We, we have we have the, the opportunity to like <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> he said yeah, that you yeah, know, like, you know, like, you know, like, 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 so the thing like, the thing like between I like, I think the thing like between having a preference and being and shaming someone else. Or, well, the way I look at it is, if you are taller than me, you are too tall. If you are fatter than me, you are too fat. If you are slimmer than me, you are too slim. So. In what sense? You dealt with body image issues, and you are aware of it now. Mm-hmm. You know all those things. What would you do differently? What can I do to get my legs bigger? Squats, <laughs> 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 my guy. Exercise. Have you seen my legs? Squats, <laughs> calf raises and squats. We fight. In secondary school. No, no, no. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> I mean, for my own situation, I don't know what I could have done differently as a kid. So, Actually, I have a talent to say that's true. I don't, I don't think I know what I would have done differently. What I can say is that the things I would have done after being a kid and the things I sort of did, so I don't think I would do anything different. But, okay, if you could tell me your younger self, yeah. knowing the struggle that this your younger self went through, all your fucking age, okay, okay. what would you say to the younger age? What I would say to a younger me, calm down. You will finish, you will finish secondary school. Okay. When you finish secondary school, you will grow into your body. What would you tell the young guy? The young guy, me? Yeah. Say it's that, madam, you better leave, you better like where you are, because you can't change it. But short, you are short. <laughs> what about you, Rafa? What would you tell the young guy? Come on. Probably just calm down. <laughs> I'm serious. Just calm down because I was not even expecting this. At that point, I used to like, I was like, I was really tiny that I was like, I ate the Lord, everything. I'm going to put the power by it. Kind of Alright. What about me? <laughs> no, we don't care. We don't care. You understand? Uh, we, we don't care. What do you want to tell you, young guy? He said he would tell himself anything. Yeah, all those prayers. I just said I uh, used to write special, <laughs> special prayer so that you get bigger. <laughs> it never happens. What do you think you should have ideas for your uh, It depends on what you are into. Like for me, growing up, I played ball a lot and I was skinny, so that was to a large extent a disadvantage. So like, I feel like the things that you are into kind of depends on. If you should or if you want to be. So, growing up, you cannot abuse me. You cannot tell me I'm skinny. I'll look for something in your body to get back at you. So, your words cannot affect me. But, like, things that affected me was being overlooked on, like, pitch, like, oh, you're too small for that position. So, I would have, then I wanted to be bigger. But, like, now, like, it is what it is. She called me up. <laughs> Um, do I think everyone should? Have, I feel like, oof, I feel like everyone should have a uh, body type that they strive for. It's kind of like with goals in general, like life goals. You kind of like want to have something always chasing because it keeps you, it keeps you motivated. Um, but it also does depend on, um, like he said, um, what you are into. I tend, I've always been an athletic kid. It wasn't running, it was swimming, it was swimming, it was basketball. There's always something I was doing, so you kind of always just go. You kind of always just get the feeling that, for me at least, that yeah, you should probably be a bit more built. And then of course, it does help if you are like if you have like problems going. On. That things that, that you have to deal with as um while you're younger. Kind of like I don't know if, if for everybody, but I know for me at least it's 
kind of those things kind of spurred me on to kind of like do something about it. It was different for everybody. Alright, finally, first part, do you think this should be Nah, this is for everybody. You should be content with like, where you are. But at the same time, you should do. Like what you said, you should probably have goals to keep you working towards something. At the same time, I think basically you should just stay healthy. That last part is very important. Yeah. Yep. Thank you very much, guys.